roll through this. So let's, let's look at these four people here. There's a very diverse range of people here from uh, different backgrounds, different nationalities, different age groups. I don't know which one's the oldest here, but I hope you like my artwork. It's pretty full on. Took me a long, long time to draw these. Um, just kidding. So what is your goal in life? So this is the first thing to understand. When you ask your people, what is your goal in life? And you can ask them individually, you can ask them collectively in your next team meeting, and you're gonna get, get all sorts of answers. And you're gonna say, well, my point in, the, in this conversation is, well, so why? So someone might say, I wanna buy a house, or I wanna get married, or I wanna buy a car, I want to travel overseas. Uh, which is a bit of a challenge right now, of course. <laughs> Not a great time to travel overseas. But you ask why, and you say why, and they might say, well, because I want to do this or do that, or um, I want to start a family, I want to do this. And if you ask why, you get an answer, then you ask why again. If you ask why three or four times, say, but why do you, Why is that your goal, or why do you do what you do? What, what, what is driving you towards this goal? The end result is always, I'm going to write it down, if you can see the bottom of my board here, I think you can, is this it's very very simple and it's happiness or to be happier so very simple so it turns out that everyone in your team and everyone around you in, in life and, and in business is their end goal is always to be happy or happier but for and that's and that is literally they, the, the, the starting point is the goal what is your goal what's your next goal in life ask that question a few times and you'll find that no matter if you've got a great diverse bunch like we have on this board here, um, you'll find that it doesn't matter what age group and whether they're rich or poor or what race they are, what religion they are, what background, they're all going to have the same answer eventually. Some of them you might have to ask why a few more times, but you're always going to get that in answer. So it turns out that we're all wired and it sounds simple, but it's amazing how many business owners, managers, leaders, whatever you call yourself um, or wherever you are in business, don't understand this basic concept. And or else they forget about it or it gets clouded over in the whirlwind of day-to-day -day activities and, and, and things in your business. Because think about this, we spend 30% of our lives at work, it's huge, right? Which is on average, and that's, that's massive because if you think about, um, you also spend about 30% uh, of your life sleeping. So that only leaves another 30 something percent to, um, you know, let's break down into thirds, 33, 33, 33. There's only 33% left in your life to of your time to, you know, do the things you love, your hobbies, hang out with family, um, go to church, um, do do things, whatever you, whatever you do in your in your personal life. So 30% is really, 33% is really half of your waking hours. So it's really 50% of your waking life is at work. So it's very important to understand these things, these principles. And share and, and, and share these things with your leadership team. Mm -hmm.